My question is to the Premier. Speaker, Maison McCulloch is Sudbury's hospice. I met with uh, Executive Director Julie Obey, and I was shocked to hear the hospice must rely on donations just to stay afloat. This is not normal, Speaker. Julie told me how critical their 50-50 draw is because the Conservative government's budget doesn't spell out new money for any specific palliative care operations in Ontario. She said, it is time hospices be recognized for the vital role they play in the healthcare system and start being funded like an equal clinic healthcare institution. My question, Speaker, is will the Premier finally recognize the vital role hospices play in the healthcare system and will he start funding them like an equal clinic healthcare institution? Deputy Premier and Minister of Health. Thank you, Speaker. You know, the, uh, the member opposite is right when he talks about the value and importance of palliative care and hospice in our, our province. In fact, in our Your Health document, we laid, we laid out very specifically our commitment to expand hospice and palliative care in the province of Ontario because we see it as a really important part of our health care continuum. And in fact, in our 2023-24 budget, our government is expanding palliative care to uh, services in local communities, adding 23 new hospice beds to the 500 that already exist in the province of Ontario. There is no doubt that hospice and palliative care are an important community partner in our health care system, and we will continue to support and fund them appropriately. Thank you. Supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker. Um, Cybersecurity Hospice has to raise $1.6 million every year to operate. So the announcement from the minister that they're going to open more hospice means that there's more fundraising required to operate. $1.6 million. This isn't for fancy experts, Speaker. Extras. This fundraising is needed for meal prep, for housekeepers, for cleaning supplies. Imagine worrying every single month that you won't raise enough money to keep residents fed and cared for in their final stages of life. And the fear is justified because last month it was reported the hospice was relying on food banks to feed their patients. Wow. Food banks. This is a shameful speaker. This is not normal, and this is not acceptable. My question, will the Conservative government increase the funding so that hospices like Maison McCulloch do not have to rely on food banks, fundraisers, and community donations to feed and care for their patients? Minister of Health. Thank you, Speaker. You know, hospices are a really in integral and engaged community uh, asset that many of us have the pleasure of participating and being part of. And by doing that, community members have historically always stepped up to support. In my own community, Bethel Hospice was Order. founded by one Order. family who saw the need and ultimately funded and formed a residential hospice that frankly is world leading Order. in the region of Peel. We do this in our community because we want to give back, we want to support these very important services. And yes, the province of Ontario will continue to support and fund hospice and palliative care, but we're doing it with the support and commitment of the communities they serve. Thank you. 